Welcome to Tips First. So if you want to be a writer, you need to hone your grammar skills. In today's topic, we'll be discussing about modal verbs. We all know what verbs are. Verbs are action words. Then what are modal verbs? You all have come across with modal verbs before, and we frequently use them in our daily lives. Right from childhood, at schools, colleges, workplace, while talking to a random stranger, we have used modal verbs. These are also known as helping verbs or defective verbs or auxiliary verbs. They cannot stand alone. They stand along with the main verb. They are used to emphasize on any of the following ability, permission, probability or certainty of a situation. They display a sense of etiquette as a request of asking something to an unknown stranger or to any random person and also used by boss to order and get things done. So we will know how to use modal verbs in any form of communication, conversation or while writing a story. It is imperative to know what these modal verbs are and we will learn with the help of following examples. Here's a list of modal verbs in English as you can see from the slide. Can, could, shall, should, will, would, may, might, must. So we'll be knowing each of these with examples. Now the first category of the modal verbs show the ability of a person or a thing to do something and these are can and could. Now let's read with examples. You can see from the example can. He can play golf. Could this is a past form of can. My uncle could play chess very well. Can again. I can complete the task by today. So here all the modal verbs that is can and could determines the ability of a person or a thing to do some specific task. Now the second category is about asking permission. Here the user uses modal verbs to request something from someone. The modal verbs are can, could and may. But we can see the modal verbs can and could can be used in both. That is to show ability to do something as well as it can be used for requesting someone that is to ask permission so you can see can and could acts in both ways in the previous example we can use can and could to, to show the ability of a person and here we can use to ask or to take permission from someone so let's see some examples where modal verbs are used in asking permissions number one you can see could could you please explain once more, I didn't quite get you. Can I speak to Mr. Robert Smith? May. It's raining. May I borrow your umbrella to go to the cafeteria? May. May I ask you a question on this matter? So here, all the modal verbs are being used to express a question. I'm asking permission to a superior, to any random stranger, to your boss to ask for something or to request for something. In short, these are generally used in official purpose with a sense of etiquette. Now the third category of modal verbs implying obligation or advice. Here the user provides instruction, advice or orders someone to do some tasks. This is not a request. These modal verbs are used to instruct someone and are mostly used by a superior boss manager to his subordinates. The examples of modal verbs in this scenario are must, shall and should. Let's see with examples. First example, must. You must follow the office dress code. You can clearly see this is an example of advice or suggestion by an HR professional to the office employees that they must stick to the dress protocols. Second one, you must complete the project report by afternoon. You can clearly see this is an advice or suggestion or the obligation for an employee to finish his project and submit the report to the delivery manager by afternoon. Another example of must, you must follow the best coding practices for better performance testing. Here you can clearly see this is the instruction given by a team leader to his team of developers to get the best performance results. And the last two examples, shall and should. See the example, we shall discuss about it tomorrow. Here, the manager or the superior boss is 
telling his employee that they might have a discussion next day. And the last one, you should log off your computer while you are away. Here, you are being suggested by your colleagues or peers or boss that you must secure your computer while you are away. Now, the next category of modal verbs is to display habits or general tasks or activity by a user in his daily life. The modal verbs used here are will and would. Let's see with examples. The first one, would. When I was in college, we would often play basketball. Here the user is saying he used to play basketball when he was in college. And the second example, I would definitely look into the issue. Here it's normal task or activity of the user to look into the matter or any issue related to his work. Now the third one, I will always prepare breakfast by 7 a.m. Here the user generally prepares breakfast every day at 7 a.m. That is his daily task or activity. Now the last category of modal verb is to imply likelihood, probability or speculation of an event and the modal verbs used are can't, could or might. Might is most frequently used as it gives a probabilistic chance of an event happening or not happening. Now let's look into the examples. Can't. I have lots of pending tasks left to be completed by EOD. I can't take a coffee break. So here the user is inundated with tasks so he can't take a break. The next one. Can't. It's raining I, so I can't reach office in time. Here the user is informing his boss or colleagues that he can't reach office in time as it's raining. So there is a high probability that he'll be late to office. Next one, could. I don't remember where my pen is. I could have left my pen in the library. Here, the user doesn't rem remember where his pen is. So he is speculating that he might have left his pen in the library or in, a, in his workstation. He's not sure of it. So he is using could to imply this scenario. And the last one might as you know this is the most frequently used modal verb to determine to show the probabilistic chance of an event so you can see the first one you were right but you might consider the situation as well here it's a discussion between two persons where one person is agreeing with the other but suggesting that if the other person incorporates his idea the outcome might be better now let's read the last example it might be hard to complete this task on time. Here, the user is giving a view on the complexity of the task. As it's a tough task, he might take some time to deliver. So the modal verb might is used here. One important point to remember, the modal verb could can be used in many categories. It can be used to showcase the ability of a person. It can be used to ask permission it can also be used to determine the probability of happening of an event so it all depends on the usage of modal verb in a sentence and also depend on the mood of the user of the sentence so this sums up the discussion on modal verbs and if you like the content don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in the next video